In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this hexagon with a uh, six circles infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this hexagon shape and then I've added six circles. Here you can put the step one along with the icon with the shadow of it. And then here you can add your title and the detailed text like this. You can do a different colors for the step two, three, four, five and six. And in the center, you can just add your uh, business headlines. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel. And I have created a WhatsApp group so that with this link you can join my WhatsApp group for the latest updates. And also if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes, select the hexagon, draw the hexagon, just click it here and then shape outline, you make it no outline and then I'm going to make the height as 3.37 and the width I'm going to make as 3.83, can see here and then just align center align middle i'm going to add one more hexagon for that select this press ctrl d to duplicate and you can give some different color and then go to format make the height as 2.57 and the width as 2.92 can see here and then again align center align middle and I'm using the 2019 version so that the merge shape is available. So I'm going to select the blue hexagon first, hold the shift key, select the second one under format merge shape, just say subtract. So you end up getting this shape and you can give any good color. Maybe I'm going to give this color. You can see here a light brown color or if you want to give some darker color also, you can give some darker color. Now, once this is done, I'm going to add six circles here. For that, go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes, select the circle hollow. You can see here, make the height and width as 2.1 and just you can reduce the width a little bit, something like this. And then I'm just going to place the circle here, shape outline, make it no outline. Let me just uh, go to format shape and increase the transparency so that we know exactly how much we are going to cut it so you can see here i'm just going to bring a little bit here down you can see here i'm just touching this part only so something like this and then what i'm going to do the one which you see here this area i'm going to cut only and the rest of the circle i'm going to keep as it is let me just move this uh, circle a little bit to the right side okay so now what i'm going to do let me just select both the shapes press ctrl d to duplicate as i mentioned i'm just going to remove this area only for that i'm going to select this as well as this and go to format merge shape just say fragment you can see here then whatever the unwanted areas i'm just going to delete you can see here all these things so this also area i'm going to delete even this got separated but i'm not going to do anything on that so i'm just going to select all this you can go to format merge shape make it union so it becomes a one shape like this if you see here let me just make the transparent to zero so that part only so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to bring this and exactly put it on top of this so i can just let me just delete this i don't need this let me just zoom in and i'm just going to put it here so i have to make sure that there's a no gap is there so something like this so this is my first circle likewise i'm just going to copy the circle for the rest of the hexagon and before adding this if you want to give some gradient fill also that also can be done so i'm just going to select this select the gradient fill by default there are four stops i'm going to delete two stops so one stop I'm going to select and go to more colors, any color of your choice you can give. Maybe I'm going to give some dark green uh, with a light green effect. So let me just make it somewhat lighter green, something like this. You can see here and then you can just change the direction the way you want, where the darker and the lighter color. So once this is done, I'm going to just select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate. You can see here 
and with the help of this arrow key i can just move it something like this and then i'm just going to add one more you can see here let me just zoom a little bit and then whichever way you feel better see you can see here let me just add it and make sure that it is properly aligned so you need to spend a little bit of time to do this particular job so even if the small gap is there not a problem so that can be managed so just make sure that this is properly aligned so something like this you can see here or if you want you can give some gap also no problem with that one but let me just give something like this okay a little bit gap here so something like that you can do it so this is my second circle likewise i'm just going to add the other circles now so let me just add the third one so again if you want no gap you can just move this as i said you can move this according to your requirement so once this is done press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to again rotate this way and then let me just put it here like this so you have to spend as i said a little bit of time doing the adjustments so let me just move it so yeah so this is my third one and then press ctrl d to duplicate and then again rotate it like this or if you want you can just put it the other side also whichever way you feel better you can just put the circle so something like this also can be done let me just do like this or because this is going inside so better i have to just rotate it the other side so this has to come outside and then let me just zoom it and let me just put it here move this side at all if it is overlapping also not a problem so let me just put it and then just do the right way we need to do it so this is my uh, fourth one likewise i'm going to do fifth and sixth so you can see here i've added these options and then uh, depending on your requirement you can just change the color whichever color you feel better so i'm going to use some uh, different color combinations you can see here uh, it should be a light and dark color combination so you can choose any color out of these colors you can see here there's a variety of colors let me just give some light color to this so likewise you can continue doing the the rest of the circles with different colors so i'm just going to select maybe some lighter color and then let me just add some teal color to this you can see here this one with some light color like this and then here i'm going to select maybe i'm going to give this color you can see here and then you can give some lighter color all right so and then yeah so that's the different colors i have given now once you have added this it's time to uh, add some text onto this circle so i'm going to add the text text one two three like that so go to insert text and i'm going to just type say text one or step one i will say step one you can see here and then i'm going to select this as a center align choose some good font i'm going to select century gothic you can see here and under format you can go to text effects and you can see here there's a transform i'm going to select this follow path arch you select this one and you can see the small orange point you can just arrange it you can increase it like this let me just make it bold also so depending on the requirement you can just adjust it so just put like this you can see here and then you have to again adjust it properly something like this increase the height or width so then you got this one then i'm going to make this as a white font so this is my step one press ctrl d just bring it here and then change that to step two like this you can do it and this one you can just 
rotate like this you can see here something like this you can rotate so this is my step three so you can just change the and this one for example if you want the other side what you can do is let me just change the color to some other color and then you can and then instead of putting like this i want to put like this here so i have to change the other side go to format again text effects transfer i'm going to select this one you can see here arch down and then put this down here and again reduce the width so that it perfectly fit into this one so this is like this you can do it again duplicate so this one it will go here and again if you want you can just reduce it or increase it whichever way you want you can do it and this is the last one if you want the other side also you can just again change it one so maybe let it be like this so this is step one i'm going to just change it to step two you can see here this is three this is four this is five and this is six so we have changed this one now if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons and select five different or six different icons according to your requirement so this is one i'm going to select two three you can see here four five and six just click here bring it the other side go to height and width make it 0.5 the height and width and then slowly i'm just taking one by one and just adding on inside the circle and make sure that it is aligned properly so something like this you can do it So uh, once uh, you have done all these things, it's time to add the text. And before adding the text, if you like to add some shadow effect also, you can add the shadow effect. Let me just show you one example only. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And I'm going to select one color, which is a, a gray color or a black color. You can see here the other color. I can just select the white and make sure that the white is less and increase the transparency something like this and then i can select this also i can increase the transparency so that it looks like a shadow effect then for that i can simply select here give some gap like this and then just go to form format and then just send this to back so like this also you can give some shadow effect let me just select this and again send this to back like this you can see press ctrl d bring this to the other side if you want just rotate a little bit and then here also you can do the same effect so you can do the same effect one by one for the other options also now once you add all this shadow effect what you can do the next is you can add the text go to insert text box and you can just say title here again if you want you can give the same color what you have used here if you want to make it bold also and then you can insert text box add the detail text give some gray color reduce the font size and just put it here if you want you can just reduce also so it comes into uh, lines and then press ctrl g to group it like this and ctrl d to duplicate add it on each of these options so you can see here press ctrl d now for this i'm going to select both of these and go to the format align right and then i'm going to the home and then this also align right so it looks like this so this one it will come here ctrl d so this will be here and control d here so once this is done it's time to change the color the after title according to the this one so i'm going to use this one you can see a select this go to the home tab font color using the eyedropper i'm just going to select this color so like that you can change the colors of all the titles here so this would be this color and this would be the green color 
and again to link this one I'm going to insert shapes I'm going to use this freeform shape just click it here again one more click here and then just bring it towards the text and double click it so like that you can just go to shapes again select the freeform from here one more click and then the next click here so like this you can just add it sorry let me just add the free form and from this one you can make it from the top to the down like this also again go to insert shapes select this and double click and likewise you can just add it for the rest of the options so this one maybe you can just do like this and the last one I'm going to use it like this so with this uh, we have completed the design and if you want you can just add some the main headline here in the center you can see here let me just make it gray color increase the size make it bold and put it exactly in the center let me just remove the guides so it looks like this and if you want to change the background so you can just give some light color background also like this and if you want to add some more things like here i have added like step or you can add your own text also that also can be done so i'm just going to type text so you can see here text i'm going to make it a bold center align reduce the size bring it here just rotate it like this we can see here and then select this maybe i can reduce the size further any text you can add and make it a white font press ctrl d bring it here the other side and then just put it so likewise you can just add the text for each option something like this so you can just continue and add the rest of the options also